Hi everyone. Um, and so I want to tell you guys about an experience that I had in 2020, in August and September of 2020, and I'm absolutely telling you guys the truth about all of this. I'm not lying. Um, I do have a witness, <laughs> but um, unfortunately, I do not have any evidence. But I'm going to share my experience that I had in 2020 in August or September of 2020. So I was over at my mom's house and we were talking about the things of God and about the last days and the Lord's name. And we were talking about, you know, the Roman Catholic Church and biblical history and how that came about. And we were we were talking about just different like subjects and the things of God, but mostly pointing towards um you know, Israel and um the end of in end of times. So, um we were talking about about for maybe forty five minutes to an hour and then um after I finished talking to my mom, I opened up the door to go outside and it was around maybe I don't know, maybe uh, 6.30, 7 o'clock at night, if not later, a little later. But when I opened up the door, I looked in the, glass, in the clouds, in the sky, and um, I saw the Lord's name in cloud form. I saw the name of Jesus in cloud, in the clouds. And his, his name was written out in the clouds. And, um... I, at first, I thought it was just me, and nobody else would see it but me. So I called my mom to the door to see if she was going to see it, and I didn't say nothing. All I did was call my mom to the door. So when my mom came to, came to the door, she, um, she, I didn't have to say nothing. I didn't have, did not have to say nothing. She looked, in the, she looked in the sky, and she said, oh, my goodness, do you see the Lord's name? I was like, you see it, too. And we, so we call, we call for my youngest sister, who was in the house um, at the time, to, to get her camera to take a picture of, of the Lord's name in the clouds. So she ran to take a, to uh, get her camera, but by the time she came to the door to take the picture, the, uh, the image had faded away, and so she wasn't able to take that picture. And so I'm, I'm just, I'm guessing that it was just made for me and my mom to see because of the conversations that we were having. And this is not a dream. This actually, <laughs> actually happened in real life two years ago. And um, you know, I, I say all this and I share all this because I know when I saw that thing, I know, I mean, when I saw the Lord's name, I. I just knew we were up to, I mean, we were on to something when we were talking about, when we were having a conversation about the ends of time, end of times and about, about church history and biblical history, things that happened in the past and whatnot. But um, needless to say, the Lord is coming and we, we really do need to get ready. And uh, prophecy, Bible prophecy, biblical history is, is happening before our very eyes, it's like Bible history is repeating itself, but reverse, reverse like a like a wave. It's, it goes forward and then it comes back. It's like Bible history is repeating itself. It's reversing itself, and and it's happening right before your very eyes. And you, and you really do need to read the entire Bible. Don't pick out, you know, certain scriptures that you want to read. Read the Bible. Read all the prophets. Read Old Testament, New Testament. <laughs> really understand the book of Revelation and the prophets because it does tie in together. To, and you can see that that the things that's happening now, we are living <laughs> in the last days. We must certainly living the last days in Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the only way to salvation. There's there's no other way but through Him. And if you just confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that, that Jesus died for you, Yeshua, He died for you, and He rose again on the third day, 
and he's seated on the right hand of the Father, and he is soon to come again. He is soon to come again for all those who believe upon him. All who call upon the name of the Lord, repentant of their sins, they shall be saved. And that's the truth of the gospel. And this is the age of grace that we're living in. And one day it's going to expire. There will be a new heaven and a new earth. The old earth shall pass away. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. It's, it's going to happen. We shall soon see it. We, we shall most, we, we're going to see it. And um, I just want to encourage you guys to receive Jesus today and um, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. <sighs> because the Holy Spirit is the only truth in this world. He's the only truth. Have a relationship with him. Speak to him. He's the very spirit of the Lord dwelling in the inside of us. And so, yeah, that's all I have. And um, you guys be looking up for your redemption. Draw nigh. Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach, he is soon to come. God bless you all. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.